Hi boys and girls, it's so nice to see you all again. I know I got some nice emails from your moms and dads and special grown-ups saying that a lot of you watched the video yesterday and I am so happy to hear about that. So today I thought that we would read another story together and this story right here, oh here it is, I think some of you might recognize that it's called I Can Read With My Eyes Shut. And look at this guy right here. It looks like it's the cat in the hat. So that means this story is written by Dr. Seuss. And we talked a lot about Dr. Seuss just a couple of weeks ago when we celebrated his birthday. And we know that Dr. Seuss likes to use a lot of rhyming words. And we're going to remember that rhyming words are words that start different but end the same. Like cat and... Cat and what, Caroline? Um, cat. And hat. Cat and hat. You remember, Caroline, I have my little helper here with me today. Or maybe like dog and... Dog and log. Or frog or smog. All those words that start differently but end the same are rhyming words. So let's together read, I can read with my eyes shut by Dr. Seuss. That means he wrote the book, he wrote the words, and he drew the pictures too. So while we're reading, I want you to be listening for those rhyming words. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color too. Pickle color? What is pickle color? Hmm, it looks like it might be, what do you think, Caroline? Green. I think it might be green too. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in circle and upside down. All oh, brown and down. Those are the rhyming words. I can read with my left eye. I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. Wow. He can read with his eyes shut tight? I don't think I can read with my eyes shut tight. Hmm. Can you? I can. Oh. Hmm. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and Hallelujah too. I can read them with my eyes shut. That's very hard to do. Hmm. I think that is very hard to do. If his eyes are shut, how can he read the words? I don't know. That sounds pretty tricky. Maybe memory. Maybe. But it's bad for my hat and makes my eyebrows get hot. So, reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, hot and lot. There are those rhyming words again. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader, because there's so, so much to read. Oh, look at him reading. That's a big book. Oh, speed and read. Those two rhyme. You can read about trees and bees and knees and knees on trees and bees on threes! Oh my goodness, it's a lot of rhyming words. Trees, bees, knees, and threes. Wow. You can read about anchors and all about ants. You can read about ankles and crocodile pants. <laughs> I've never seen a crocodile wearing pants before. You can read about hoses and how to smell roses, and what you should do about owls on noses. Oh my goodness, look at all the owls. They're sitting on the different people's noses. Mm. I don't think I would like that very much. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, oh, the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff you'll learn about. Fish bones and wish bones. You'll learn about trombones, too. You'll learn about Jake the pillow snake and all about Foo-Foo the snoo.
You'll learn about ice. You can learn about mice. Mice on ice and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. And then look at the sign right there. It says, nice ice for sale, 10 cents a pail. <laughs> you can learn about sad and glad and mad. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. You will miss a lot of good things if your eyes are already shut. The more you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Looks like they're taking an adventure on an elephant. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars, or how to make donuts or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play a hot zut if you keep your eyes open, but not with them shut. Wow, look at that musical instrument. Looks, looks like, like it would be hard to play. It looks like a mixed instrument. It does. It looks like it's a mixture of lots of different instruments. Yeah. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the place where you're going is far, far behind. Oh, no. So, that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide. Keep them wide open, at least on one side. If <laughs> they have one eye open and one eye closed. That's so silly. Yeah. And that's the end of our story called I Can Read With My Eyes Shut. So, boys and girls, there were lots and lots of rhyming words in this story. So I'm thinking maybe if you talk to your special grown-up or your mom or your dad, maybe you can ask them if you can do one of our favorite rhyming songs. You remember our Jack Hartman songs? This might be a good time where you could look up Jack Hartman and look up Rocco the Rhyming Rhino. Or maybe you can see if you can find the I Love to Rhyme song. And you can practice your rhyming words with your mom or dad or your special grown-up. I think that would be fantastic. And boys and girls, since I just read you one of my favorite stories, I'm wondering if maybe sometime today you can find your favorite story and read it. Maybe you can ask mom and dad or special grown-up if they can take a picture. and Maybe you can send it to me because you get to see me but I don't get to see you. I would love to see pictures of you reading your favorite stories too. That would be so fantastic. All right, boys and girls. So tomorrow, we're gonna do a special science experiment together. It's gonna be so exciting, I can't wait. So for now, I miss you all very much. Have a wonderful day and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye, my loves.